What's up everyone? Today I wanted to show you a simple and easy way to cook a deer shoulder uh, using a crock pot. Um, and really all I use for it is four ingredients. Aju gravy, I believe is what it's called, but I usually use two packets of this. One can of pepperoncinis. Um, I used half the other can on the last, um, last shoulder that I did, so I'll use uh, another half for this shoulder. And then some ranch seasoning, a stick of butter, and then shoulder. That's it. I mean, this is this is a simple, uh, simple and easy way to cook a shoulder. I usually throw the ingredients in there in the morning uh, before I go to work and uh, put the crock pot on low, go to work, come back, and it's ready to go. The meat just falls right off the bone. So um, the first thing you want to do is I've got a whole shoulder here whole deer shoulder and uh, there's three bones in this two joints um, but I'm going to clean I'm going to clean this just get some of this tissue off here um, and uh, just kind of clean it up a little bit and then uh, I'm basically just going to try to get it small enough to fit in the crock pot uh, it really just depends on what size crock pot you have and how big your shoulder is um, but uh, and you can even take a saw and just cut it in three pieces I don't I don't really use the saw just, I'll just cut cut it at these joints right here and that way it'll go in the crock pot. I usually give this bone right here to the dog and then I'll just throw this, this portion in the crock pot because there's not a lot of meat right there. It's a lot of tendon and bone really. Uh, but you can throw that in there as well. And if that slow cooker really breaks down the connective tissue. Um, otherwise, really the only thing I've ever done with the shoulder is, is turn into grind meat. So, but this is just a great way. This is what I do with all my shoulders. Um, and it makes kind of a, a great, uh, great roast. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this up here and uh, get it ready. And then I'll show you the rest. Yeah. I'm just going to try to get some of this, this white stripping off sinew, fascial tissue, whatever, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I kind of got that cleaned up a little bit. All right, I'm just going to cut it right on the joint and get rid of this section right here. Right at this joint. Right in there. You see that just comes. But that's where it hinges right there. Yeah, I'll just cut it right around that joint. All right, so I'll just take this. Like I said, this is gonna this is gonna feed my dog. At this point, there's another joint right here. You could even break that down if it doesn't fit in the crock pot. But we'll see if this fits. It's a it's a little big. It's a little big right there. So I'll just take this joint. I'm just trying to get it, trying to get it to fit in the crock pot. Simple and easy, right there. You just kinda, there's no wrong or right way. Just find that little joint to where you can bend it, cut a little bit, and then if it fits. This is the first time I've used a bag. So we'll see how it goes. I usually just throw it, throw it in there. In fact, I'm not using the bag. I'm just gonna throw it in there just like that. But yeah, I just sit it right down in the crock pot. So I filled the shoulder about three quarters of the way up. If you can see that. And then I'm just going to take my two packets of gravy here. Uh oh, making a mess. Throw my pepperoncinis in there. And you can try it. I mean, I'll put a whole bo a whole uh, deal of pepperoncinis in there, a whole bottle before it, it. It's fine. It just depends on how much pepperoncinis you want in there. But I love, I love adding the pepperoncinis to my roast. I just love the, love the flavor. All right. All right, now for the ranch. 
if you have like packets of ranch, those, those packets of ranch, um, usually about one of those, but we don't have packets. This is all we have. So I'm just going to kind of wing it here and, uh, pour as much as I think there'd be in one packet. I'm just going to kind of cover the top. butter that's what we got going on I put it on low before I go to work in the morning and then by the time I get home it's uh, it's ready to eat so we'll go ahead and put this on low I'll probably check in about four hours and uh, see what it's like in four hours so we'll let this cook and then uh, when it's done we'll give her a taste all right so what i did is i went ahead and uh i cooked this overnight um, i cooked it on high for about an hour and then i and then um we had some stuff that we needed to do so we'll, we were just like let's just just let's put it on low and just let it sit overnight so that's what we did and uh so kind of show you what it looks like just to give you an idea of what this bone I mean, the bone just falls right off. I mean, there's, there's the two bones. So, but yeah. So I just cooked it, put it on, put it on low overnight, and uh, I'm about to go to work, but um, it's ready to go. So I'll, I turned it off. I turned it off, and. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in a put it in a bowl and that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So but yeah. That blade just comes right off. Look at that. But let me show you how tender this is. I mean, it just flakes just flakes right off. Look at that. Just flake that off. All right, well there you go. That's just a simple and easy deer shoulder cooked in a crock pot. But yeah, this is one of our, our staple recipes at our house. We can cook a lot, we fix a lot of different types of dishes from this. Like we'll take this and throw it and make some nachos or some enchiladas or, or whatnot. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this roast, but um, but it's kind of a staple in our house so but anyways appreciate you watching this video if, if y'all have any comments or any any ideas to add to this i'd love to hear them i'm always looking for for new new ways to cook game meat so thanks for watching